Alright, let's actually get the whole team back together, since we're just gonna clear out the whole place. Well, I'm not really sure if I should be spreading up, <coughs> sorry, spread up my troops more, since we'll most likely get things, if the enemy are still around, the fact that they'll be moving around in combat means that, you know, my soldiers can intercept, which would be a very clever move. I should say so myself. But well, at the same time, it probably would be a good idea if I just have everyone join in so that, you know, my troops won't get shot cheaply out of nowhere. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. So, I think I've already explored everywhere by this point now. I've cleared this spot. I've cleared this area. And this too, I think. I, maybe that one's also okay. Right now, the only areas that I feel are compromised are either here or here. I'm not sure if there's going to be snipers on these sides as well, so... Maybe having two people roll in from the sides and do it like that might be, good, might be a good idea. I'm not sure. If it is, it will be a good move though. Not gonna lie. I mean, there's, al there's already um, Robin and Pilot's already all the way there, so it'll be really easy for me to just slip around in case the enemy does appear from there. It'll be the best move ever. The best move. <coughs> <sighs> Sorry, still a bit... Still covering a little, but you know, it, it's been getting better. I may not find a cure in War of the Worlds, but you know, it, it's, it's not as noticeable as days before. Gosh. It's only been a few days ago since I last finished War of the Worlds. And now I'm playing Hidden Dangers again. How time flies. How time truly flies. Say, so, can you pick up this? Yeah, okay, cool. Figure since we're gonna be having fun. Let's do the good gun, shall we? We shall. Come on, Robin, let's... Um, hang on. Follow me. Follow me. Time for us to begin our ambush plan. Our counter ambush. Assuming that the enemy is, uh, is there. Okay. Let's check in anything behind the... Thing there. I think I did manage to clear this side, so should be good. Yes, we're good. We're absolutely good. Excellent. <coughs> absolutely excellent. Your turn, Matt. You and Fairbarn will sweep in from the left, and we'll see if this works out in the end. Maybe I should bring up the sniper in case, you know, enemies do appear all the way from there. I've already explored everyone now. It's it's everything everything clear except this. If this still hasn't have enemies, then well I think I'm just gonna assume that the mission is done and it's a repeat of burning fuel. Let's hope not, yeah. Careful now, careful. Okay. See anything, anyone? Okay, maybe we should try to approach it carefully. We'll try to approach from the high side. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, sure thing, buddy. Um, anyone seeing anything? Oh, man. Any snipers up there? Oh, this is such a dodgy move. Okay, okay, alright, sorry. Sorry for trying to experiment, I guess. Oh, man. Slopes are always so scary and dangerous. Okay. Especially since you can die really easily, even if you're falling down from slopes. Something like this, yeah, you'll die, absolutely. If you fell from there and then you go straight down, it's uh, your legs broken, your back's broken. 
All of your blood spills out, all your nervous system shuts down, and it's, it's all bad news. Okay, hang on. Okay, good. So, we're just gonna circle around and hope the corner bit sees something, yeah? Alright. Watch it. Look above. Oh, hello. Whoa, whoa, hello, hello, what's going on here? Oh, you've gotta be... Okay. <laughs> Oh, the worst time to reload, Fair Barn. Oh. <laughs> that one guy threw a grenade. <laughs> oh, man. One last insult. I knew it. I, I wasn't expecting them to just float out of there like a dam. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I was hoping, uh, I was wondering if they're just gonna be sitting up there like, like okay, alright. Everyone, standing on soft foot, I want everyone to be watching that side. Once they show up, I want everyone, and I mean everyone, to just open fire. We're good here, yeah, we're good here, everyone reloaded. N no shenanigans. Yes, good, good. Very good indeed. And now... Go. Alright. Here it goes. Hi there, everyone. How do you do? Nice to see you today. Oh dear, this is gonna end badly. Hi there. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. This time, he does not get a chance to throw, he gr to <clears throat> to throw his grenades. Alright. Is that the exit then? Or is the map just gonna end right then and there? Ooh, I'm guessing that is the end of the map. Okay, alright. Map's not gonna end... Oh! Oh, okay, alright. That's it! That's it, ladies and gents! And otherwise? Well, I'll be. Ah. Uh. Could have been better, but you know, but still. Uh, yeah, I, I could have been better there. Granted, I did not have any scope, so despite the circumstances, I think I did decently acceptable. And that was it, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. Mousetrap by Lars. What a strong starter for our return to Hidden Dangers, is it not? Indeed so. Like I said before, it's not every day you see a custom map that does replace the whole map entirely instead of just repurposing an old campaign map. And well, stuff like these I do really, really appreciate. I do have some things to say about it though, good and bad. Uh, first things first, I would like to once again thank uh, Jakob and I believe it was Neil Z, the people who were responsible for this executable in the first place which allowed for the add-on saving to be possible. Indeed, it was it's quite a very frustrating thing, but well, it's all solved now, and this entire experience uh, was actually spread for about a couple of days. I, I'm not sure if you all noticed. It might not be visible thanks to my editing, <laughs> but I'm sure you've noticed with the occasional hard drive lags, and well, I... Uh, I do have to stop a couple of times in order to process everything. But, you know, as I've already said before, the add-on saving system is fully operational and it is very much of satisfactory. Well, mostly, aside from the scopes, but, well, I think everyone's already noticed by now by how many times I've spoken before. On the bright side, uh, I think with this lack of scopes being a thing, I might be more more likely to carry things like bolt-action rifles or like the ri rifles like the Johnson M1941, I think that was the name. Yeah, yeah. It'll be quite interesting in the long run, but I'm not sure. I suppose it can be a bore seeing me just carry, you know, snipers again and again, but still. It would be really nice if I could actually get scopes going. Alas. I haven't actually tested if binoculars could work, but I'm guessing they won't. 
But yeah, anyways, uh, the map itself, Mousetrap. Uh, I think I've already said before that the the fact that it's a fully custom map instead of the, a repurposed campaign map is pretty really appreciated. And then the environment itself, yes, it's really pretty. I will say, a big old environment, uh, sorry, big old mountainous element with lots of trees and rocks and waterfalls. I did notice those waterfalls. You don't see that every day in, in add-ons, but well, granted I haven't played a lot of add-ons, but still. Those waterfalls, really nifty. The sky looks pretty good too. Uh, the objectives are really interesting. I was I was expecting to do another rescue mission where I have to get people out of places, but uh, well, unfortunately, as we can see, the office are sadly pass away. So yeah, we did at least get the papers though. So things were done in that mission. Things got done. Uh, what else can I say? The tents, yeah, those scared me a little. It's also a rare thing to see me fighting the partisans again. Uh, we've fought German soldiers before, we've fought Japanese soldiers before, but the partisans, you don't see them in Arons a lot. And, well, I'm kind of grateful that we don't, because uh, as we've seen in Mousetrap, the thing about fighting partisans is that they tend to fight using guerrilla tactics, and well, if mappers are going to be using Grecian partisans in the future, I imagine they'll use the exact same tactic, tactics, which brings me to um, the the mouse trap itself. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry there, my cob is still a bit active. It's not entirely gone. Uh, I wish. It was gone. This was like a few days after War of the Worlds, and well, I haven't quite gotten completely fixed yet. But <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the mouse trap itself. The enemy encounters here are really, really mean. Uh, I don't know how to feel about not being able to spot these sandbags and the. I'm glad that I could spot the machine gunners, but I wasn't exactly aware of what kind of machine gun nest they were up until I had, you know, Robin just waltz up the the cliffs up there and then just get promptly shot down rather embarrassingly. <laughs> uh, I do like it though, I do like the idea of the uh, machine gun nest that just had people not being able to leave it for whatever reason. Because, you know, I remember playing the original campaign maps and there were machine gun nests, but the machine gun nests have these openings where soldiers can just leave, leave and what I often do is that I shot a couple of bursts and then they just sawed off from the machine gun and get immediately cut down from my guys using SMG. So, you know, seeing proper machine gun nests where the enemy doesn't move around so much is very interesting indeed. I do like it. Though I do wish that the tactical map would indicate them a bit better because, yeah, I think that death could have been entirely avoided. What I don't like as much, however, is the sudden snipers just coming out of nowhere from that one blind spot. I could not have possibly seen that in advance. You know it, I know it. And, um, okay, the partisans that came from the cliff sides above that got me killed there a couple of times, those were, um, uh, kind of, I'm not sure. I got shot from the, yeah, I got shot from the machine gunners that are hiding behind the trees, and I was like, trying to anticipate their movements, but ooh, I kept getting shot from blind spots, and well, okay, that last one that, that that I didn't see right behind the mountain there, and that one was pretty fair. I just I just wasn't paying attention. That one was definitely my fault, but yeah, I really wish that the those two last encounters there could have been entirely avoided, but well, I did not. I got killed a bunch of times rather embarrassingly, and it just sucks. Uh, anyways, yeah, I think that's all I can say about Mousetrap. I'm glad that it didn't end up like burning fuel where the enemy counter, where the enemies just went down the ground and I can't finish the mission. I can finish the mission for this one, and you know, with all my squad intact, no need to shoot any, any one of my guys or anything, everything's fine. Can't wait for the next add-on runs. Uh, I'm sure it'll, it'll be quite interesting indeed. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, for watching from the very start, or otherwise. As I said before, there will be many more hidden dangerous deluxe journeys from now on, since, you know, I'm done with War of the Worlds at the moment, so 
If you want to see more of them, well, you already know what to do. This is Zig Shadow, signing out.